Hi, I'm Navid Ansari and finally in this video I'm gonna show you how you can convert your platformer game into a multiplayer game. You remember from my playlist of video about platformer game, we create this platformer game that we have some collectible, we have an enemy, we have um, collectible count and we wanna convert it to a multiplayer game. So without any further ado, let's begin. So I'm back with a mustache, bad mustache, but uh, my girlfriend said that it's cool so let it be. So uh, let's begin. From now on, we want to convert this platformer game to a multiplayer game. And we have some step to do. Like, we should create those players that want to join our host, right? So we have a OBG player, okay? That each one of them can shoot a bullet. Each one of them has some collect, some gem. If, uh, each one of them has a health and uh, all of that, right? So there are some step to do to make it happen, right? From now on, it gets a little bit complex than before it, what we have done till now it was just sending some data creating host joining a host it was easy to do but right now it's it will be a little bit hard because the data that is coming from the server is leased into a map map into a list list into a list and it's it get a little bit complex but i will take my time to explain to you a step by step in videos how you can do all of that a step by step i please don't hit that dislike button because i'm taking my time to explain everything step by step in detail so first of all we should create a local package of this platformer game into a multiplayer game one way to do it is just copy everything from this multiplayer game that we have working on that we can create a host we can join a host and all of that we can just create a local package in here and move it in our platformer game but i what i want to show you is how you can create a, a package from your platformer game into your multiplayer game so this is a base that you can that with that you can convert whatever game you have into a multiplayer game okay so we have this multiplayer game we should create a local package okay because i want to import all of these tile set the sprites all objects phones rooms and a script into all over multiplayer game okay so for that go to tools and in here create a local package give it a name whatever you want just a name okay and in here i want to add everything like font like object i'm holding control like a script like a sprites and tile set i want to add it to to our multiplayer game in this room i want to add this room one okay and let me change the this room name in here this room one i want to be a rm level one okay so it won't replace anything in our uh, multiplayer game okay so again go to tools create local packages and in here give it a name give it the name in here whatever you want add all what i don't want in here it is this menu i don't want it because we did create a menu in our multiplayer game okay so remove this one and we need all of that we need font object rooms and whatever you have in your game no matter it is platformer or rpg or whatever okay click on okay and i want to save it on desktop save and now everything is saved on desktop and we can just close this platformer game okay and in this multiplayer game that we have created that we could create a host join a host and all of that right so in here i want to add them but before doing that let's just go to room and in this rm room one i want to change the name of that to rm main menu okay I, I just changed the name of this room i didn't do anything and now let's just import all local packages in here open it and i want to add everything okay and it says the obg player already exists so let's just cancel this and i want to change this obg player in here that we create before or just delete it okay everything is okay just delete that and import that local packages in here add all import and now our platformer game is imported to our uh, multiplayer game okay so let's just go to rooms and you can see rm level one is now here and let's just open it and it, you can see everything is working fine and i want to change the size of all of that so let's just copy the size and change it for our join lobby in here i want to change all the sizes of our rooms so it match each other right so in here as well i will do it fast in here as well and i want to change the position of these buttons so let's just put it at middle roughly at the middle right so in this join hold p if you can select anything in here and you can select it after that so join in here lobby i want to put the host in here back is at the right location everything is okay so let's just run our game now 
and we can create a host everything is okay we can join a host everything is okay we didn't run our server so let's just run our server first in here run it and now everything is okay we and we can create our platform a multiplayer game right so first of all when we click on this host button we want to go to our level okay so for that let's just go to objects in gui in here you can see the some of them it give us an error but it's not an error it's okay in obg host button you can see in here whenever we create a host successfully in this async network we get a host number and player number and after that we can say room go to for example over rm level one okay so now if we run our game and try to host the game it will go to our level okay next in this obg hosts button okay whenever we join a host successfully we should go to that level right so we can say room go to rm level one as well okay so with that we run our level but before going to that level you can see that we set the player number so now let's just test that you know that we create a host and if we go to join lobby you can see there is a host in here and when we click on it it will go to that level okay so everything is okay right uh, everything is okay now but before doing anything else you can see we set the global player number and we get it from the server but i want to set the global host number in here as well okay global that host number is equal and here let's just copy and paste this paste it in here and in a of player number you can you remember in a step event we send the host number that is our local host number so let's just get that and you know that from the server in join if we go down in join we didn't change the host number we just use that host number so let's just use that in host number and let's just copy this host number from here this key because we need the key and in here and we get it from here okay so in this async network we get the player number and host number and we set it in player number and host number okay so again let's just run our game join and everything is working fine but before doing anything else i want to show this player number and host number uh, in our level so how we can do that so first of all i want to create an object for each level i want to create an object why because uh or let's say you play in a level for one minute and one player try to join your level okay and you we should be able to create that player in our level and we get the state of that player each time each frame right so for control controlling that we need an object for each level so in here i will create that object in this control folder in here and i want to call it obj level one okay and in here what i'm gonna do first i'm gonna create a draw gui event just for showing you draw text i want to show it at position 10 and 10 so it it will have some space between uh, the edge of our game okay and in here i want to show the host number okay host number is plus a string and here we get it from global dot host number and now we have that and we can add it to our level one we should add this object level one to our level one right now let's just run our game if we create a host you can see the host number is one and if we go to our server you can see there is two host in here and the host that we created is host one okay so now let's just close this and again run our game and try to join a host join and for example let's just join host zero and it will show the host number is zero so we know what host we join and now let's do it for player as well so let's just open up the object player and in here again i want to add a draw gui event in here i want to say draw text at the x and y location of our player and we can say player plus a string global dot player number okay and with that let's just run our game when we host the game the player number will be zero and you can see it is here why it is here because we use camera to zoom right you can see it it show it like this so let's just do this draw text in draw not draw gui so let's just delete this draw gui and add it to draw in here first of all we should say draw self and after that draw paste that code okay so now let's just run our game again if we host the game the host number is three because we create the host and we are player zero again let's just run our game 
join a game and for example let's just join host number two the host number two is here and we are player one now so we get the player number and host number correctly in our level in the next video i will show you how you can create an instance of those player that has joined our server because you can see we don't see the player number zero why because we didn't create that instance and when we create that instance of player number zero player number two three or four and all of that we should get the state of that player to see what where is the x of that player where is the y of that player what is the animation right now and all of that so please hit that subscribe button and if you want to help me hit that like button as well thank you very much for watching bye